Thesis on chivalry. Thavonia's blade work fundamentals. <sighs> so much to learn before the exam. How will I ever get through everything? Oh, honorary knight! Long time no see! Anything you need me to take care of? I don't? <sighs> I'm sorry to make you worry on my account. I've been busy preparing for my exam. Other than for work and training, I've barely left the library. The exam is drawing nearer and nearer, but there just seems to be an endless amount of material to review. <sighs> right. The Knights of Avonia selection exam. Oh... Even though I've already worked for the knights as a maid for some time, I still need to pass this exam to officially become a knight. It's just that I've failed several times in the past. I still don't know if I can make it this time. No, no thank you. I could take care of myself. I hope. This is my exam, and I'm taking it to fulfill my dream. Any obstacles I face are mine to overcome. Plus, there is still some time to go before the exam arrives. Well, you're the honorary knight of Mondstadt. It won't do for me to take up so much of your time. But, on the day of the exam, if... if you happen to be free... Um, based on the knight's schedule, I think it should be... half a year from now. But it's just half a year! Don't you think that's quite soon? Even though there is still some time, if I don't make good use of it, it will disappear. I've planned my schedule carefully. If I sleep two hours less each day and finish my work one hour earlier, then as long as I spend all the time I save studying, I should just about be able to finish these books. Well, there's always coffee if I feel sleepy, and I have some candy on hand just in case I ever feel low on energy. 
No, I won't. I've made sure to allocate time for training, too. After all, combat is also assessed as part of the examination. Uh, oh. Did I get too worked up all of a sudden? My vision seems a bit blurry. No. I still have training tomorrow. I must freshen up. Oh. I apologize for letting you see me in such bad shape. I'm okay now. But every time I think of the exam, I get so nervous. Only studying or training helps to relieve it a little. But in the end, I keep finding new ways in which I'm not prepared. And that makes me even more nervous. Oh, you mean studying isn't the only preparation I should be doing? Oh, if I don't overcome my fear of the exam, I will just repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Whenever I encounter something unexpected, I can't think straight. And whenever I start worrying that I might fail again, my mind goes completely blank. Imagine myself passing the exam. Hmm. What kind of knight? I, I always thought that just qualifying to be a knight was challenging enough to begin with. The knight that I want to be someday. Oh, that feels so far away that it's a little difficult to imagine. An Outrider? I'm sure Amber would be happy to see the Outriders grow as a team. But my strengths are not in scouting and luring the enemy. And I'm not as agile as Amber. Hmm, I don't know if I would be of any assistance to her. <gasps> However, I did once get Amber to teach me how to make Baron Bunnies. If I were to use Baron Bunny to lure the enemy away and protect my fellow knights, I suppose I could do it. I still have some of the materials we used when she taught me. There's just a few extra things I'd need. Making the stuffing requires pyroslime condensate, and the red dye used to grab the enemy's attention can be made from crushed valberries. It's just that dried valberries are not very suitable for making dye. I'll need to get some fresh ones from the Stormbearer Mountains. So, let's start by going to the Stormbearer Mountains. Make my escape.
Be plenty of bowberries. Oh, pyro slimes. Perfect. They can provide us with another ingredient we need. You can't run. Yeah. Uh, I see how it is. Pyro slime condensate? Crushed bowberries? Good. Oh, now I can start to make a baron bunny. Through here, conceal the stitch, done. Far from it. I know it looks the part on the outside, but I still don't know if it will really work. There should be a hilly trail camp nearby. Let's place the Baron Bunny there and try it out. Trolls are coming back. Let's see if the Baron Bunny gets their attention. What's going on? They're completely ignoring the Baron Bunny. They're coming this way. Watch out! Animal test 6308. Absorption test. Enhanced animal module 75. Up to the super freeze. 
nor exploded. In the end, all I managed to recreate was the outward appearance. I suppose the conclusion is I can't become an outrider like Amber. Oh, maybe I'm not yet ready to carry out the work of a fully qualified knight. But I just can't think of what else I could do. Every time I've looked forward to passing the exam, I always ended up disappointed in the end. Whenever I remember that feeling of disappointment, I stop being able to think about what kind of knight I could become. Uh, Master Jean? How could I ever become someone great like her? Master Jean is a pillar of the Knights of Favonius, and a great source of inspiration to me. If I could gain even one or two of her qualities, I would be very happy. But the thought of becoming a knight just like her in every way? Oh, I could never achieve that. You think so? I suppose if the goal is set so high that I couldn't hope to achieve it immediately, I won't be too disappointed day to day. But where to start? I can't imagine what I would need to do to become more like Master Jean. Oh, that's true. Master Jean is always lending a hand to citizens in need. So strong, but so gentle too. I still don't think I can do what Master Jean does. But at least I could start by trying to be gentle like her. Okay, then let's head back to Mondstadt and see if anyone needs help.
I'm sorry, Marjorie. I was focused solely on chatting with Quinn. I didn't see anything else at all. If you're out of other options, maybe you could get help from the Knights? I'm sure if Master Jean heard about it, she'd help you find it in no time. Thanks. I'll check with a few more people first. If no one has seen it, then I guess I'll just have to ask the Knights. Alright, well, I hope it turns up soon. Bye now. <sighs> Maybe I should just tell the Knights already. Miss Marjorie, are you in need of assistance? Oh, Noelle. Since you asked, I seem to have misplaced a monocle that I imported from Sumeru. I was organizing the stock that had just arrived, and because the monocle was so fragile, I took it out, wiped it, and put it aside. But then, I went to get it after I was done with the stock, and it was gone. I've asked around, but no one seems to have any idea where it could be. Anything like this? Well, it's not completely unheard of. You know my store, there are all sorts of exotic items. In the past, I've lost a carved wooden perch and some boneware, but as soon as I reported them missing to the knights, they were recovered right away. May I ask, where were the missing items recovered from? Oh, the wooden perch was mistaken for a real fish by Margaret's cat, and as for the boneware, they eventually found that in a dog kennel somewhere outside the city. Oh no, we mustn't increase Jean's workload any further. Master Jean's time should be spent on more important things. Miss Marjorie, would you mind letting me help you find the missing monocle? I may not be as efficient as Master Jean, but I will do my very best to help you find it. Oh, of course that's okay. But isn't asking Noelle the same thing as asking the Knights? Ah, uh, I'd better gather some more information before heading out. As well as confirming some details regarding the monocle itself, we should find out as much as possible from Marjorie about the circumstances under which it went missing. So, do you have some ideas on where to start? Ask me whatever you want to know. I'll answer to the best of my memory. The missing item. Well, it's a monocle to start with. And since it came from Sumeru, the design should be fairly recognizable. As for other distinguishing features, it's very light and it's very small. Hmm. I had my head down and I was busy working through the stock. I didn't see anything that was going on around me. But the street is so busy that surely someone would have noticed if it had been stolen. Oh, now that you mention it, I do remember hearing some kind of... flapping sound. The sound went as soon as it came, and I was focused on checking if anyone had seen anything, so I didn't give it too much thought at the time. Do you think it could be connected? Hmm... I first heard it behind me, and then it seemed to fade out in a northwesterly direction. Now I wish I'd followed the sound and spoken to people along the way. Honorary Knight, shall we go ahead in that direction and make some inquiries? Maybe we'll find some clues.
Excuse me, Glory. Have you heard anything that might be described as a flapping sound in this area recently? Marjorie's monocle has gone missing from her shop. We're trying to look for clues. Um... Flapping sound? Yes, I think so. I believe it was the sound of a finch flapping its wings. It sounded a lot heavier today than usual. As if it was carrying something. So... Maybe the finch took the monocle back to its nest. Oh, I've seen their nests in the past on occasion, while I'm cleaning the roof. What do you say we have a look, Traveler? Finally, we have a lead to go on. Thank you, Glory. You're welcome. May you swiftly recover the lost item by the grace of the Animo Archon. Marjorie's missing monocle. Let's take it back to her right away. I hope we haven't kept her waiting too long. Miss Marjorie? Here, we found your monocle. Wow, you were so quick. How wonderful. I thought I wouldn't be hearing back for a few days yet. Sure. In the past when I've lost something and asked the knights for help, it can take them a while to get around to it. After all, the knights have all sorts of things that they're busy with, big and small. No matter how capable Jean might be, she can't be in two places at once, can she? Thanks to you, Noelle, we don't have to trouble the knights with every little thing that comes up. <laughs> now that I think about it, Noelle is basically like another Jean. In that sense, it really does feel like Jean can be in two places at once. No, surely you can't be serious. How can I compare to Master Jean? I can only help people with small things. Like finding lost property. <laughs> Whether it's big or small, it's all the same to us. Things we can't handle by ourselves. Noelle, once you've qualified as an official knight, will that mean you don't have time to help us anymore? I, for one, am going to miss you. No, not at all. If I do become a knight in the people, I will continue to help everyone with their problems. <laughs> I was just kidding. Keep up the good work, Noelle. I'm sure everyone in Mondstadt can't wait to see the kind of knight you become. I... I will keep working hard. Thanks again. <sighs> I suppose I should put this in a secure place this time. The kind of night that I become. <sighs> oh, do, do I? Um, yes. Maybe it's because I'm not afraid anymore. I've never dared to imagine myself as a knight before. I always feared that the higher my expectations, the more disappointed I'll be if I don't live up to them. But let's say I do become a knight in the future. Maybe, maybe I will simply continue to do the same things that I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter to me how small these things are or how tiring. I do these things not because I'm a maid, but because of my own will. Yes, there's no need to become someone else, nor worry about failing. 
As long as I perform better in my next exam than in my previous one, then one day, I will become a knight that I can be proud of. <laughs>